Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Make It Mini unboxing. This is the Make It Mini Birthday Multi Pack. This has got some exclusive things in it, and this is part of the new resin formulation release that is going to be denoted by these new stickers that they put on the boxes. And this doesn't say Alice in Wonderland, but it's very Alice in Wonderland coded. So we're going to take a look at it. I picked mine up from Walmart. It was $29.99 and it is really just like very cute. Now I love the Miniverse stuff just based on the amount of things that you can do that don't really require a ton of resin. Like, I really prefer things that you don't have to build necessarily, or that are not going to be, like, crazy hard to put together. So thankfully this has a few of those. But let's take a look at everything that comes in this. So as we can see, we've got some roses up here. We've got four tea set, uh, four teacups and saucers. We've got a teapot and one, two, three cake display things. Like this is more of a, a tiered display, but you do have two of the regular cake displays. In addition to that, you get two of these little like potion bottles, which are probably the same molds that we have in the Harry Potter miniverse ones. But after that, it's a lot of the same things that we've seen already, which is pretty true for most of these multi-packs, is that it's literally just like, oh yeah, here you go. Here's some that we know you want, and we'll put it all in one thing so you can see it. Which is kind of cool. But this is a great way to get some of these harder to find ones. So it's got technically five recipes is what it wants you to do. There's also a real mini wood table in there. I'm not sure how tall that table is gonna be considering most of like the regular miniverse tables are only about this high. So it might just be that. But I like the way that they've got the uh, teapot or the teacups more like uh, display factors, which is kind of fun. I don't love the fondant sheet wraparound. I feel like that's gonna be complicated, but I do love how they did the uh, macarons with the raspberries inside, because if you've gotten the macarons before, you know it's kind of a pain to get them to actually stay and then be like molded. Uh, I did some the other day and I had to do a little mini pipette bag and I cut the corner off of a uh, like a little Ziploc bag and tried to put the resin in there. Because oddly enough, when they give you these, they don't give you a squeeze bottle to make it work. But let's see, we've got that and there is the UPC in case you're looking for it. Again, $30 in stores. I'll, I doubt this will go on clearance for a while. The Miniverse stuff really hasn't gone on clearance until it's basically like trying to get lost from the stores pretty much. Why is this not coming out? Okay. Okay. So that comes out of the packaging pretty easily. Uh, okay. So let's see. So our table is back here. It is done in a um, like a little uh, shrink wrap. So that's kind of nice. And we'll open that, hopefully. What I'm kind of surprised and I don't see off the top really are some instruction sheets that have the recipes. But let's see. So we put this in there. Yep, like this. And then 
these. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. And this is all like laser cut uh, MDF board, like multi-layered. Let's see. Why are you not going in? There we go. There's one. Okay. So it goes in and it's eh, two and a half inch tall. Not bad. Uh, and then we've got our little things that were down here including this little closed-in thing, which I'm assuming is gonna be the instructions. But let's see, this is the tablecloth. I wanna see what size this tablecloth actually is. Let's see, how do you open said tablecloth? Ah, here we are. Okay, so this is oh surprisingly pretty large you could use this on a regular uh, like barbie table without too much stress uh, because it's folded it is gonna kind of like buckle up but it's just wide enough to cover the wood so that's interesting and it's always good to have like a little uh, tablecloth thing. Like you could put any of the other little like Barbie towels that we get. Now what's in here? Okay, so in here, it looks like we've got a lot of our paper products. Plus a couple of the smaller things. So we've got two straws we have got a little squeeze top. Of course, we've got our little mini verse tongs. And then we've got some playing cards that I guess are like placemats. That's kind of cute. Kind of adorable. Uh, we've got four of these little doilies. These are more unique because they do have the uh, card suits on them. So that's interesting. We've got our little labels that say drink me right there. Looks like we get four of those. Here's our straws for those. They are blue. And there's our read me, which says resin is toxic and stuff like that. Um, this is actually a pretty good box. Keep that. Okay, so it does show you how everything's supposed to look. Um, you don't get a vase for the roses, which is kind of funny, but that's okay. So it does have you putting the rose and one of the teacups on top of the cake to make this look. So like this is probably one of those situations, I don't think I would actually follow these directions other than the uh, little macarons. So it's got you putting it on there and sprinkling nuts around the side or doing the uh, Maybe. Well, maybe it's got you doing something else. No, it shows two different versions. Okay. But the Petty Four are very cute. I don't think I would necessarily use the rabbit ears on the Petty Fours, but it's okay. Um, and those uh, tea sets are very cute. But yeah. So overall, it's very cool the way they have these. You've got little cookies to make, you've got tea to make, you've got the little drink me potions, you've got the teacup cake and the macaroons and petty force. Uh, 
So technically, yes, you do get five um, recipes, but on the back, you'll actually get six different recipes because the petit four and macaron are technically two different things. So it is kind of interesting that they would advertise it that way. And then we don't have anything else back here. So let's see about just taking this off from the front. Oh, that might not work. My goal is trying to not have everything rocket out everywhere, but this is going to be a little bit harder to do. Okay, so I think we got it. Okay, yes. There go. So, we've got the roses right here. You've got two of them. Uh, you can put them on top of the cake, or you can save them because the roses were part of the, initially, part of the Valentine's Day, and they were super rare. We have got our cute little uh, cookie tier thing. Here is the bottom tier cake and here is the top tier cake there is a height difference between them it looks like slightly the white one is slightly taller maybe but you put those together we've got our cake rings to put on top of those we have got our vanilla resin here are the fun here's the fondant sheet which is very cute. I think it's just a sticker. They're kind of leaning into stickers with this rebrand. Here's the Petit Four. It's got a gold pan. So a little different from the original Petit Four. Here are the six things that you get to put on the Petit Four, which originally had eight. So they cheaped out a little bit on that. We've got a thing of nuts, which is just like powder essentially under there. We've got the macarons, or macarons. Very cute in uh, pink and green. We've got a jar of raspberries. Very cute. I love getting these little canisters. We've got a gold cake tray, or cake plate, that's what they're called. And then we've also got a little like jade colored one that is flat and the different mold and also taller. We've got some raspberry cream. We've got a teacup and these you do not have to mold. I'm a little sad. I would have actually preferred them to kind of incorporate these molds that they're making and do a multi-pack of molds. That would have been really cool. We've got the Mad Tea. This is the tea resin that's supposed to go in the teapot and the teacups, which is fine, but honestly, I don't think I would do that. Here is the Jade teacups. Now you do get two of each, which is great. If you're like me and you want a tea set. Wah, wah, wah. And then we've got our milk tea. All right. And then you've got your little heart cookies right there. And the little uh, checkered cookies. And then we've got our two little potion bottles. Very cute. And then 
the last thing is the teapot. Now this is a functional teapot all the way through, which the molded ones are not, which I find kind of funny that they gave us a fully functional teapot that you're supposed to put tea in and then pour it through. But much like the drink dispenser ones, I would not do, recommend doing that because it gets stuck in there. Uh, so let's double check that nothing's stuck to any of the tape or anything. Okay. All right. So a very cute little setup of everything, which is kind of fun, but you could also do a lot of things with this stuff. Um, so let's, I don't remember what they're using the kick tower for. Oh, they're using that one. They're using the little one for the, or maybe they're using the tall one. I'm not sure. Those look like the same height, but they're different. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be the cookies. So you're supposed to put like one of these on there and put the cookies on them. Uh, so you would do like, like this and this. And cookies are relatively easy, like the all on four cookie ones, you don't even decorate, you just put the resin on the heart. And that they use the raspberry cream for. Let's see, what are they recommending you use the petty for? See, they give you the vanilla scoopable stuff instead of something in a squeeze form to do the uh, macarons for, which is infuriating. <laughs> if you've tried to make those macarons, you know it's a pain in the butt. But these are very cute. So like the cookies, you could leave them undecorated, but they're very easy. The hearts, you just bloop a little bit on there and that's fine. The petty four, you could literally just do a little drop on the top of them and put one of the fruit, which is what like I've done on these. Like I just had extra cherries. I love the way that looks. It's nice, it's neat. Uh, so those are very easy. Because these are cute, but you can't really do anything with them. And they kind of give off more of a vibe than I'm trying to have. Uh, and then you get a lot of raspberries, but if you're trying to do all of the macarons like that, it would be a little bit harder to make that stretch, I think. But it would also be a lot easier to kind of make them... Uh, all in one kind of thing but very cute these are going to be the easiest recipe because it's literally just pour and then place the straw so that's the easiest recipe and it'll be something kind of cute so the most complicated ones are going to be the macarons or the cake the cake is a little bit harder just because it is the it's relying on you putting the stickers on and then um, yeah so you put the ring on a little bit and then you put the sticker on sticker on and then you put the top ring on and you could leave the cup off the top it's not gonna kill anything it's still gonna look like a cake it's still gonna look decorated um, and you could actually just assemble this whole thing with super glue and not resin. It would work just as well. Like the cakes are surprisingly easy to do that with. Because um, while I love the resin, it's a little bit hard to cure between two flat surfaces that aren't see-through. Uh, so I actually recommend doing super glue instead. And then let's see, anything else to talk about for these? I mean, not really. They're pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory, but they are very cute. You get a lot of accessories. I honestly wasn't expecting the wooden table. Like, I'm okay with it, but it's kind of random to give you a table to set up. So, but it's very cute. And I love the little uh, cookie platter. 
And so you will have, this is a giant thing of resin and this little spatula. Um, and again, kind of squeezable, but not really. So the only one that's actually squeezable is this one. Uh, the milk tea is squeezable, but it didn't come specifically with a spout. So, eh. but yeah, so I have found that it's easier once you've, if you want to keep these containers for your doll kitchens and things like that, the surefire way to clean it out is to use some uh, isopropyl alcohol and just shake it out after you've gotten all the resin out. And you can clean off the outside of the bottle with some isopropyl as well. And it doesn't hurt the actual like label or anything, but it does take away that stickiness that seems to residually stay on all of these bottles after you've done everything you can with them. So this is very cute. Again, it's five recipes, or as, as it's advertised as five, uh, you actually get six you'll wind up with, uh, so six macaroons, six patty four, so that's 12, uh, one cake, 13, um, and then uh, the tea, if you choose to put it in the actual cups, that would be uh, like 17 items, and then 19 with the potions, and then yeah and I mean the roses are pretty much freebies like I would prefer to not have a rose on the top of my cake so I'm definitely going to use some of my extra vases that I have from duplicates and literally just make those into that you could also take the potion bottles and make them into uh, vases all you'd have to do is trim off one of the leaves and trim it out to about there. And they would make cute little like centerpiece vases. But again, not as advertised. So we just put them in there and we say, it's very cute. So if you guys have any questions on these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like and if I get around to assembling all of these, I'll put them up on my Instagram. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye. Okay. So I did decide to go ahead and assemble the cake just because I wanted to see how the sticker worked. So it does pull off and it is just a sticker. You have to really get into one of the corners to actually get it out. But I did this with just a little bit of just like regular super glue and assembled it in less than like four minutes. Like honestly, the hardest thing was just getting the sticker off. But you can do it like this. Originally, they want you to use one of the cups up on top. Actually, I think they want you to use one of the pink ones and then like put the flower inside. You could do that pretty easily. I would recommend probably using one of the, actually, I think they did want you to use the uh, blue. So you can use the cup like that. Honestly, I think it looks fine either way. You could even do like a, a cup just like that, and I think it looks a little more kitschy, especially if you were to put a flower in it. But assembled just on its own, the cake is really cute. And again, just a little bit of super glue. Literally, I did a little dab on the bottom part of the layer and then I literally just dabbed around the rings and held them in place until they uh, until they solidified and this actually has a little bit of an overlap the uh, the cake uh, fondant sheet they call it so you have to like curl it around the edges to get it to uh, 
stay in there kind of uh, nicely. But it looks pretty good when it's all, when it's all assembled. Or honestly, you could do a couple of extra like raspberries on the top and just set them up like that kind of thing and make them pretty or just fill the whole thing. That whole like inner ring with raspberries if you wanted to. Because I don't know about y'all, but I wound up with a lot of raspberries over the years since uh, Miniverse has started being a thing. For some reason, raspberries, they give you a ton of. So you could do that. And because you saved on the resin for the cake, you could very easily just like use the resin to cement it. But either way, the cake is super cute. I prefer a nice clean cake top to uh, something that's kind of busy like the flowers. So if anything, I would do the fruit like this. And again, I did this without resin. So it's not what they designed it to do, but it's a lot easier than messing with the resin just because the resin, when it's between two surfaces that are not clear, is a pain. Um, and honestly, for icing, it's a lot easier to use like Mod Podge mixtures with like acrylic paint to um, to do that instead of the resin if you're wanting to like decorate the cookies. And again, so that'll save you two different things of uh, resin to use if you go through and use kind of different things. So I just thought I would show you guys kind of what the cake looks like when it's assembled fully and kind of your options with that going forward. But I don't think I'm gonna go through and put the macaroons together just cause I have, uh, I have a box of macaroons already and it is, they are they're macarons and they are a pain to put together. <laughs> so if you guys have questions on these, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxing. This timeline's really goodbye. All right, bye, y'all. <laughs>